Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Craig McMorris, ESPN broadcaster for the X Games and professional snowboarder. This here is explained where we really get in depth and talk about something that's really, really interesting for me, snowboarding, and we're talking about the new event at the X Games, Knuckle Hut. Now, we have to talk about the background of this event. The knuckle is just the round part of the jump. Usually the jumps back here, there's a knuckle. That's just going really fast and doing tricks off that. It seems really simple, but it's very, very intricate. And on the internet, it was getting lots of traction. So we at the X Games said, hey, why not make this an event? Why not have a jam format on the big air landing, the big air knuckle? Let's let everybody ride and see who does the best. The winner gets the golden knuckles. Now, we have to be honest with you. This event was made for a guy like Marcus Cleveland. He was the one putting out the most videos that were getting the most traction and he was innovating the most. He was really at the forefront of the progression for Knuckle Tricks, but unfortunately shattered his kneecap and could not compete for the entirety of the 2019 season. So he obviously was out for Knuckle Huck, but there were a number of really, really big names in the field and they put on a really good show. So let's talk about it from Aspen 2019. So Rennie Renacongas was doing these rad backside 180s. And what I really, really liked about it is he's so explosive. He jumps off, drags the hand, and you can see his shoulders start to go. So it almost looks like he's gonna go backside 360, but he drags his hand and the hip work he has to do to take it back to 180. So in that amount of airtime, he only does a backside 180. It really, really looked like he was gonna do a backside 360, but you can see how his hips twist. And he does that shifty to fight it and bring it back. Those are the cool nuances that people were putting in the knuckle hook, and that's why it was really, really interesting because the amount of skill and technique it takes to bring that back, I mean, nobody can do that except for Renee. Mons Roisland, he was doing something very different. Mons Roisland was doing kind of these weird turtle rolls, for lack of a better term, where he'd come in really, really fast, and then just like on a motorcycle, if you're in an accident, he just lays it down on his side. So he's going so fast that he can put his back on the knuckle, slide, and then carries that rotation off. So he's going so fast that it looks like he falls almost, intentionally, and then carries that speed up and out. So Renee's tricks I really like, Mons Roisland, I really like that turtle roll because nobody else was doing that, and that was really, really cool. X Games has the ability to be mobile, agile. They can add events, and that's what they did with Knuckle Huck. They saw the traction that guys like Marcus Cleveland and Fridge off Tischendorf for getting by just posting really, really insane tricks off a lump of snow. Nolly backside 900. We're gonna watch it in full speed first and then we're gonna watch it in slow motion. Now, what is super rad about both those hits is the way that he takes off and that's what we're gonna take a really good look at here. So when you're taking off on a jump, big jump, you usually take off on your back foot. You have a little bit of weight on your front foot, but you take off on your back foot. The knuckle, there's no lip. There's nothing that propels you upward. You have to do all the propulsion yourself, and you usually have to do that off your front foot. And that's what Marcus Cleveland is so good at. Let's take a look here. He rocks onto his front foot and then uses the nose of his snowboard almost as a trampoline, okay? Usually on your back foot, you ride off, the lip gives you the pop, but he rocks onto his front foot and explodes off that garnering the amount of airtime it takes to do a backside 900. You never see anybody do a nollie backside 900, but you do see Marcus Cleveland do that. This is really, really cool as well because his front foot essentially turns into his back foot right here. So he's coming in switch. He's gonna start to slowly rotate on the snow and then push into that front foot. And you can see the flex in his board. It almost looks like it's snapping, but he rocks onto it and pops that way as well. It's crazy how much lift he can generate off of one leg going that fast. That's why Marcus Cleveland is one of the best knuckle riders in the world. Fridjof Tischendorf, one of the highlights of X Games. Not only for the way he was riding, but what he was wearing as well. And this knuckle event just lends itself to Fridjof. He's got a backpack on and he's doing really innovative tricks. So let's take a look at this in very, very slow motion. Fridge off, he kind of slides onto that front leg and pops off his front foot, drags the hand, as you can see there. And you almost think he's gonna bring it back, but he goes to 540. Also note in that, he's got a speaker dangling off of his backpack. He's playing hard rock deep cuts. We're talking Tom Petty, we're talking Rush, we're talking Led Zeppelin, stuff that fires you up. So I think it was almost unfair his ability to get in the zone with the speaker, with the backpack, he's got everything he needs, and he's also got the tricks that earn you the golden knuckles. That's knuckle hook.
And this was Explained with Craig McMorris. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And we're also going to see Ski Knucklehuck in Aspen 2020. So it's going to be a knuckle fest. Bring your knuckles. I got mine.